The U.S. Army post at Fort Sheridan was established in 1887 and became a cavalry post with the arrival of the 7th Cavalry in 1892. The fort is named for Civil War Cavalry Officer General Philip Sheridan. During the Civil War, many believed the days of the cavalry's usefulness were gone. Philip Sheridan, however, re-strategized the use of cavalry into a hard-hitting strike force. His cavalry charges in the Civil War have gone down in history as some of the most successful warfare strategies. From that point on, cavalry leaders turned to training a modern horse soldier armed with saber and rifle, making him equally efficient, mounted or dismounted. Fort Sheridan became the ideal place for this training. Cavalry men were undaunted by the uneven terrain of ravines and bluffs and reveled in the challenge of riding their mounts down the bluffs to the sandy beach and lake shore. Cavalry officers were the knights in shining armor of their day. They were glamorized in dime store novels as hard riding soldiers who always arrived in the nick of time. To North Shore society, they were the ideal chaperones to accompany debutantes to balls and receptions. The most famous cavalry officer to be stationed at Fort Sheridan was General George S. Patton, Jr. After graduating from West Point, Patton took a commission with the 15th Cavalry and was stationed at Fort Sheridan from 1909 to 1911. In 1917, Patton joined General Pershing's staff for the American Expeditionary Force in World War I. While in France training American infantry troops, Patton, the cavalryman, became interested in tanks. He understood that the days of cavalry and horse-drawn artillery were coming to an end with the mechanization of the Army. Patton advocated for the development of a tank corps and would lead the first tank brigade to victory during the world's first major tank battle at Cambrai, France. Despite the Army's changing strategy, cavalry units continued to be activated at Fort Sheridan. As part of their training and to build good public relations with the surrounding communities, the fort's cavalry units hosted horse shows featuring trick riding and polo matches. These events, hosted between 1925 and 1939, were designed to showcase the skills that each horse and rider had achieved after countless hours of training. The horse show trophies were highly valued and praised. Some of the stunts performed to cheering crowds, such as jumping through hoops of fire, illustrated the fearlessness and precision of these horsemen. They also performed exhibitions at Soldier Field in Chicago and at the Chicago World's Fair in 1933. Fort Sheridan holds national significance for its landscape and architectural design and for the training of American soldiers, including the cavalrymen and their horses who went rough riding along the Lake Michigan shoreline. To learn more about the Dunn Museum and Lake County history, visit www.lcfpd.org museum.